Hey, Norwegian guy. Are you in there? Ka. There's another polar bear for you to stun. Okay, have it your way. Guess I'll just shoot the damn thing myself. Okay, okay, hold on. I'll just get my gear. I'm waiting right here. And don't let Miss Alaska hold you up back there. Tully spotted another polar bear outside. Not now, Rune. Polaris. Come in, Polaris. Go ahead, we hear you. I found oil deep down a crevasse near Testrial 2. It's an open pit, Nova. I found seep oil. But that's... that's wonderful. And there's more to the story. I also ran into something unexpected. But I'd better tell you in person. I'll be there soon. While you wait, you can contact Thule. We need to announce this right away. What was unexpected? Should I tell them something else? Just tell them we're going to make the shareholders happy and the liberals angry pretty soon. Okay, where are you now? A few miles northeast of Polaris. But speaking of tree huggers, is that Norwegian chap still bothering you? Oh no, he's not. Not at all. What? I tell you, I haven't seen such an obvious crush since my prom night, and that's been a while. He's in the room, Al. Shut it. He's there? Well, I think that was all. See you soon. Over and out. So he found oil. I don't know what that last part was about, though. For some reason, he seemed to think that you have a bit of a crush on me. Crush? No, I... I just... Come on, is that how they do it in Oslo? Whoops, I think I left the line open. And what a thoughtful mistake it was. This has been a comedy gold mine. Look, maybe Rune could fix you something nice in the canteen. Uh, let's say tomorrow. I'll even throw in some fuel and ammo for Tully. Uh, for distraction, you know. I could do that. Good. Do I have a say in this? Not really. Can you cook, Rune? That's my girl. Rune, I happen to know what she likes, but I'll fill you in later. Now is not the time. Okay, over and out. Over and out. So, did you have anything else in mind? Tully spotted another polar bear outside. Polar bear research on a station owned by a godless oil company. You know, this might be the biggest oil discovery of our careers. While you are trying to save the Arctic. That's... A serious conflict of interest, I know. I love ice climbing and the Arctic, that's why I'm here. Did my master's measuring skua eggs in Svalbard. As for the company, me being here is just a cheap publicity trick. I'll play along and get my thesis done. But maybe I should get moving. That bear won't be around forever. Be careful. Everything Tully knows about polar bears comes from cola commercials. Hey, Rune! Over here! Where is it? Back there, behind the station. 
I think it tried to stalk me, so I took off. Then it's probably a male, so let's be very careful. He's a big one, all right. Somewhat over 200 kilos, I'd say. And guess what? He is a she. Does that matter? More than one would think. Tracking collars can't be fitted to males. Their necks are wider than their heads. Are you gonna shoot it or what? Hold on, I'll just need to get the rest of the gear. Good kill. It hit her right where it was supposed to. Just above the shoulder blade. Let's give the sedative some time to kick in and then have a closer look. Look at that maw. It can easily crush a seal's skull. Or drag a small beluga whale out of the sea. Mighty nasty smell. It shouldn't be that bad. There's the reason for the smell. The right quadrant mandibular canine is chipped. The what? A fang. The tooth is infected and the infection is spreading. Look at the dark spots on the gums. That's a satellite tracker? Yes, but it transmits only triangulation data. The collar will come off after a few weeks. After that, I'll retrieve it. Careful! Relax. I know what I'm doing. We're done here. She can't eat with that tooth. That's why she's so badly malnourished. We need to contact the veterinary service tomorrow. Are you gonna keep her on a leash until then? Let's haul her to that old sled dog cage to wait for them. You stay here and guard her. I'll figure out a way to do it. What if she starts moving before that? I'd keep my distance. She'll be rather pissed off when she wakes up. Have you figured out how to move her? 
That thing will get up any minute. Let's take the snowmobile and pull her. That might work. Eula Petroleum is gonna love her. We are not telling them. We need to do what we can to help her. I'm gonna go take a leak. Make some room. Sample's coming through. Rune. Ow. Pretty brisk weather out there. Leave no skin exposed. What do you got there, Gramps? Early Christmas. A few hours ago, I was roaming the glacier using the crevasse radar. No magnetometrics or anything. Suddenly, the thing starts bleeping, and I hit the brakes. Went outside and found myself on the edge of the nastiest crevasse ever. Holy shit! And that's not even the hairiest part. Glanced down, and there it was. Deep in the hole, a bubbling pool of crude oil. Again, no transient electromagnetics, Telerix, or anything. Just stumbled on it. So I figured there's more to this story. Tied myself to the six-wheeler's winch, and went down. You fucking went down the crevasse? Alone? And with that trunk of yours? Yes, Tully, I bloody went all the way. Let's say I had a hunch of an old oil wizard, did some surface sampling, looked around, and found these. Unsettling, isn't it? It was a sacrificial sight of some kind. A thigh bone. It's human. Yes, there were plenty of body parts down there. But I didn't want to stick my nose any deeper than I already had. What do you think, Rune? This is a significant find. The symbols look like some sort of elaborate writing, but it's not really my field. I have a few paleoanthropologist contacts in Bergen. We could reach them through the Thule station. Maybe, but let's not be hasty here. The find could mean big bucks for all of us, so let's not draw any unnecessary attention to it. Tully? Right on, Gramps. Last time I checked, we were on an oil research station, not some fancy university. You are not going to believe this. Euler himself is coming here. Bob? They're sending Bob? No, much worse. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. I'll be in my room. What the hell was that? 
Alistair Euler, the son of the company founder, is coming here. I've known Bob a long time, and in this case, the apple has landed far off. Oh, he sure got the Ice Queen ticked off. We have some mutual history together. I'm going out for a smoke. You joining, Gramps? No, thank you. I'll reward myself with a couple of sandwiches. Viking? No, thanks. I'm trying to quit. And if I'm not going to be allowed to contact a real expert, I'll examine those bones myself. Knock yourself out. You do know what your oil find means for Greenland, don't you? Yes, it'll bring in money to the local people, thus giving them tools for pursuing their independence. It'll also have a severe effect on the ecology, not to mention global climate problems. What do you want me to do, Rune? I'm an old guy. For once, I found something worthwhile. Anyway, I suggest you take a look out of your window before going to sleep. There should be powerful aurora in the sky tonight. It's for your own good. You'll get the next shot tomorrow.
Nova, are you all right? Rune? No, not really. You know, if you need any assistance, I've got some quality razor blades. You're a real friend, but I think I just need some rest. I was just wondering if the date is still on. What? The date? Oh, our date. Yes, it's still on. Look, I noticed you're a bit stressed out and thought, if there's anything I can do... I just need some rest. Okay. Good night. Shit. What a dream. What's that noise? Sounds like a garbled radio. Tully, you scared the hell out of me. I see them, Rune. The beast. You're having a nightmare. Wake up! No, no, I can't. It just starts over. Okay, Tully, I hear you. Take it easy. Everything is all right. No, no, I can't. It just starts over. There. There! See? Listen to me, you are on Alpha Polaris and there's nothing here. Take it easy. What? Are you sure? There's nothing here, Tully. Nothing here. Fuck. What were the beasts you saw? At first, I thought there were polar bears. But then, I don't know what the fuck it was. A spirit. Under the ice. Okay, easy now. What did you see in your dream? I don't know. I was back in Longwoods, Maine. And then in the glacier? The polar bears. They were... in the sky? It was wrong somehow. Tell you, what's wrong with the radio? How should I know? It's the... some electromagnetic shit or something. Look, maybe you should go back to sleep. No, no, I need to focus. You go ahead, Norway. I'll sit down here for a while. Are you...? I'm good. Now leave me alone. Okay. I'll do a quick check around the station. Look at that. A hell of a light show. Like the sky itself was burning. Such profound beauty. I took a reading with the magnetometer, and I think we're very close to a record-breaking geomagnetic event right now. There's something strange taking place here. The radio is blaring out some weird noise. Yes, that makes sense. And it wouldn't even be the first time. 
Way back in 1859, a couple of great geomagnetic storms took place. They were caused by immense coronal mass ejections in the sun. Back then, telegraph stations were spreading all over rural America. Electricity was soon to be introduced to households and telegraph lines operated with it. As it happened, something freaky took place during a peak in the solar storm. Stations in Portland and Boston maintained conversation for several hours with no battery power. They were using some form of geomagnetic energy? Correct. Geomagnetically induced current is the term. The field lines fall here, Ruth. Now, I don't know the specifics, but I think the ion storm is causing the effect you described. Who knows? We might see even more peculiar things happen. How can an ionospheric phenomenon have effects this severe? Well, I'll bet you see aurora in Norway all the time, Rune. Do you know much about them? The basics. They're caused by solar wind getting trapped by Earth's magnetic field. That's the science. However, the Cree call them the dance of the spirits. Looking at them here, in the middle of this desolation, they waver constantly, like a veil or a mask. A mask shifting to reveal a glimpse of some long lost truth. Perhaps a visual message which we as mankind are no longer able to connect to. There's no causal connection to anything linked to mankind. Just astrophysics. You're right. Forgive me. Maybe the only thing you're witnessing here is an old fart rambling. I ran into Tully in the living room and had a conversation with him while he was having some sort of nightmare. A waking dream? That's interesting, especially considering his fixations. He's constantly going over the dreams he's had, the dreams he will have, and so on. But I wouldn't worry. Ted's obviously very responsive to these things, and he's been under some stress lately. The isolation and the darkness can get to you. Not like this. It took me several tries to get him to wake up, and what he told me about the dreams... Yes, but still, between you and me, waking dreams occur mostly in juveniles. Let's put it this way. Ted doesn't always operate on the level of maturity one would expect. There's more. I've also had a nightmare. In my dream, I remember the terror of someone watching me from a distant ice shelf. Tully had a feeling of something haunting him in the woods. You think there's a connection? I don't know what to think. Without trying to be dismissive, you both have spent long days out on the glacier. Anyhow, there may still be a powerful subconscious message for you to grasp. A spiritual one, as some people in touch with themselves would say. You could be right. But maybe you should hit the sack before I switch on my full ramble mode. One more thing. I don't think you'll be able to reach anyone with a radio tomorrow. We've blanked out during ion storms half this magnitude before. Then I'll treat the bear myself. That's the spirit. We should also power down the tower so nothing gets fried. I mean, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Hey, Knudsen, you gotta see this! Kamardar, don't you go all sweet on me. I found something real fucking eerie. The Swede here needs a little more sleep. You need to see this! Fun. and will stop. Okay, you win. Get down here, then! And about last night, we need to talk. 
She's gone. That's a piece of her flesh. So she wanted out and ripped the cage open? I don't see any other way this could have happened. Putting her in the cage was a dumb idea. You've been doing your science project on climate change or whatever. Is this it? In a way, yes. These are bad times for polar bears. It's going to get a lot worse soon. We are basically animals, right? Maybe the storm messes up everything with a brain. Like you last night. Yeah, just like that. Man, I was far off. I guess it's plausible. The human brain functions on electric signals. I've been checking the magnetometer, and the worst is yet to come. The storm is gaining momentum. I probably need to put the bear down. Can I take the snowmobile? Sure, the keys are in the ignition. I need to chill somewhere for a while.
Did you just shoot something? I was examining her tracks. If I hadn't looked up, I'd be dead now. I told you this would happen. I see you're making progress with those. Let me know if you find anything. The bear we caught yesterday escaped by tearing open the cage, and apparently hurt herself badly. What? Can you follow her? I already did. She got a sniff of me before I saw her. She attacked you, and you had to shoot her. I was examining her tracks and lifted my head, and there she was, right in front of me. If I hadn't looked up... What you need to do is calm down a bit. Everything is fine. You found the bastard, that's the most important thing. Take it easy for a while, Rune. I understand you've found a large enough reservoir here to start drilling. Beats me. Determining the field size will take some seismic work. But we know there's some prime stuff down there. Saturation, volume, color, sweet taste, and whatnot. Substantial bonuses heading our way if we can focus on the mission at hand. There are both pictograms and mutilation marks on the bones. Enough to turn this into an academic study. That may very well be the case, but unless you turn that into potential profit, I don't think the company would be very interested. Otherwise, that sounds very interesting. What are you working on? Tellerix, if that means anything to you. Look, we need to hustle with this thing. Bob's kid is not known for his tactfulness. I understand you have a long work history in the Arctic. Too long, my friend. Too long. I've seen all kinds of creatures in here. All kinds of jaunty fellows. Did you have any nightmares last night? Yes, I had this recurring one when Euler Jr. catches us not doing our jobs. 
Other than that, just some nighttime flatulence, but that's definitely out of excitement. All these dreams have really gotten to him. Look, Rune, Ted is not really operating on the level of maturity one would expect. Between you and me, waking dreams mostly occur in juveniles. Do you think I can use the radio now? It's still powered down, and I think we should keep it that way. The Tempest is raging up there, even now, in the daytime. That could seriously cripple our equipment. I don't think we'd be able to contact anybody. Unless you want to listen to some dork playing ukulele on Radio Waikiki. One time, a few years back, I remember being unable to hear even the carrier wave from Thule while still listening to the Moscow Philharmonic. Strange are the ways of upper atmospheric transmissions. Everything all right? Yes, just had a lousy night. You're not the only one. The radio woke me up. At least you got some sleep. I've been running those samples for, what, like four hours now? If there's something I can do to help, like pick off the hairier bug legs. Thanks, but those bugs are still microscopic. Is the bear okay? I had to shoot her. Oh no, what happened? I screwed up. I followed her, and she attacked me. Are you alright? A little shaken, but I'll be fine. You don't look like you slept too well. Rough night? No, it's more like personal stuff. Haven't had any strange dreams? Not really. Tully had night terrors last night. He seems pretty shaken. I know. First morning in months, he didn't tell any of his sexist jokes. Al thought you might have some insight on those bones and the hide he found. If you mean as an Inuit, not that much. People often have this misconception of our cultural unity, but in reality, there are many different cultures and groups. I'm a Canadian Inupiat. In Greenland, there's the Kala'alit, although the dialect spoken here in the north is Inuktun. It's very close to the Canadian Inuktitut that my mom spoke to me. However, I took some courses on Paleo-Eskimo cultures, so I might be able to tell you something. From my first day here, I noticed how you take pride in your past. I'm sure your mom taught you that. Not really. She always told me to forget the bygone ages and become a trucker. Losing you to the logging industry would have been a waste of talent. You should see me driving a Kenworth double trailer up the Wrangell Mountains before you say that. Definitely not for the faint-hearted. Anyway, I learned to take pride in what I am after I moved to Alaska and went to university. You didn't seem very happy to hear Euler Jr. was coming. We just don't need anyone from management meddling in things right now, especially those who are full of themselves. We on for tonight? We are, but I have to zone out for a while first. It's supposed to be a major oil prospect down there? Yes, but Al thinks we need to do a little more work before trumpeting about our find. I found interesting details in the bones Al brought. There are knife marks all over them. And the bone marrow has been exposed in one. That's usually done to feast on the juicy innards which would mean the Paleo-Eskimos were practicing cannibalism. No, I don't think so. Why not? It's known to happen in extreme conditions. Trust me, this is something that I know really well. Cannibalism is a strong cultural taboo for the Inuit. They would not do that. There's some evidence of even older cultures than the Inuit in Greenland. Degenerate hunting cults, very warlike and tightly organized, which doesn't apply to us. Sounds like they could have practiced violent rituals. But as I said, they were not Inuits. According to the myth, they were driven into the sea by old Inuit tribes. I have a couple of articles on the subject. I'll fetch you one. 
I also have another article about the mythological side. I'll try and find it for you tonight. I need to borrow the 6x6. Six six. The carcass has to be moved. Yes, yes, but not today. It's gonna be dark soon. And have you forgotten about a certain young lady awaiting her bomb Alaska? Now? I think I'm too shaken up for that right now. On the contrary, it'll do you good. Get your mind on something else. What is that thing, anyway? Ice cream and frozen berries? Oh, boy. Listen to me, and listen carefully. Bomb Alaska is more than just a dessert. Its roots go back to the French royalty. Making a proper one is no small feat. You need a blowtorch to finish it, to say nothing of the perfect timing involved. Luckily, you are looking at an expert on this, as is attested by my perfect figure. I'll scribble down some instructions for you. Uh, and one more thing, you do well if you don't swallow all the things Tully says about Nova. That wannabe womanizer is just a tad jealous. You'll never meet another girl like her, trust me. I've known her for a long time.
Wow, it's cozy in here. What do you think? That looks... divine. You did good with the flambe. Really? Yes. I haven't seen such a gorgeous serving since Anchorage. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. This is... Mmm. That's disgusting. Sorry. This tastes... yummy. So it's a score? Touchdown. Whoa. I'd say that Bomb Alaska a la Norway is a glowing success. I think the glowing success was scoring a date in the middle of Greenland. That's not true. Girls grow more desperate out here. So, thank you for it. Don't think of it as a gift. I fully expect you to cook something for me, say, next Sunday. I could make you some Eskimo ice cream. I'm not sure if I want to know what's in it. Yes, you do. We actually call it Akatuk. Wild berries with reindeer fat and seal oil. In the old days, the fat of chubby Norwegian explorers was also used. Too bad you only have skinny ones around here. Maybe if I gain some weight, you'll consider hanging out with me. Maybe. But before that, I'm kind of curious. Why do you really want to hang out with me? Well, you're my kind of girl. Into old bugs and called Nova. I guess you don't date a lot. What is it? Sounds like a chopper. You! There's a probe in the back. Unload it. Gee, Mr. Big Shot, I was kind of sleeping here and... Euler Jr.? Yes. Nova! Are you alright? Thule Base has been trying to reach you all day. We're all well. Dad was very worried. I'm in the middle of something here, Alistair. Who are you? Rune Yudsen, a researcher from Norway. I've talked with your father. Nova, show me the lab. Shoot. So there are no base samples taken? You know we need the whole series, Shalman. Haven't had the time. Where's the place? The lower pen marks it. I'll go there myself tomorrow. Good night. You're excused. I also want you to present your research to me tomorrow. We need to know how you've spent your time here.
Just a dream. Tully! Nova! Oh no, no, I don't want to. Please, please. Nova, wake up! I can't, it's too dark. Don't come near me, he'll hear you too. Who? Who'll hear me? Ashton! I saw it before at Nunavut when I was a little girl. I had a high fever. There's nobody here but me. What did it say to you? I don't want to tell. It wanted me to hurt you. I have to go. Stay here. You need to calm down, Tully. You have to do something, Roan. Otherwise, it'll take us all under the ice. What the fuck are you two doing? Get in now! Alistair, something's wrong with Tully. Just calm down. I'm not gonna let guys like you screw up the operation here. The Beast doesn't give a flying fuck about your oil revenues! It's here with us! Don't you see it? Beast? There's something very wrong here, Alistair. Idiot! This useless shit-kicker is clearly psychotic, and you encourage him. You bet it's psychosis. Listen, there's something very wrong here. I told you that thing is here. Didn't I tell you to shut up? Don't you see what you're doing to that whack job? I'm sorry, Tully, but you leave me no choice. What's going on in here? You tell us. You nearly pushed Tully over the edge last night. I didn't have a choice. Yes, you did, and you chose to pander to his delusions. Al, tell us what you told me about the storm. Okay. You know, Rune, what I said about the storm and the spirits? I was speaking metaphorically, of course. Trying to rationalize Tully's mood swings won't do him any good. That is not what you said yesterday. The thing is, this is not my first assignment in the Arctic. I've seen all kinds of bold fellows coming and going, some of them much earlier than they originally intended. Rugged men, too. Look, speaking from experience, I see a dose of isolation paranoia here. A small dose, but one that could easily spread over all of us. Now, for the sake of Tully's health, let's keep our heads level. This has gone far enough. Nova, tell us what you saw last night. I'm not sure what you're talking about. You told me there was a spirit worshipped by hunting tribes. You said you had another article. No. I need that article. You're not getting it. It seems that they won't agree with your story, Knudsen. 
That's because they're afraid. You know what I really think? I think you are just the type of guy who likes to pretend he knows more than others. But in reality, you are way out of your element here. If it was possible, I'd fly you back to your socialist Sweden, or wherever you came from. I know how you can get me out of your sight. Send me to the crevasse. I'll take the additional samples you need. You? On the other hand, I can't spare my real people to get them. Rune? Now wait a minute, Alistair. I don't think that's a good idea. I can go. I don't have anything important to do right now. You're needed here to prepare the samples. While I do the testing with Nova. Very well. Just don't try to climb down there, and avoid going near the edge. I know how to scale ice. Crevasses are different. They're dangerous, even for seasoned climbers. The safest way to collect the samples is to lower a probe down there with a car winch. Once down, it'll automatically take the sample. You'll need all the weather gear you have. The temperature is going to drop very low by night. And take your tranquilizer rifle. You all right? No. Any pain in your arm? Don't worry about it. I would have shot that prick. He took my gun. He took my gun for fuck's sake. I've just been accosted by Alistair. Al and Nova didn't say a thing to defend me. They're decent people. Al and Nova, I mean, not that jerk off. But I think they're even more afraid than me now. And I'm terrified to the bone. Still, it doesn't matter anymore. We got shafted. That thing will come for us when the storm peaks. You don't think there's anything we can do? Zippo. What do you think it is? It's the dragon. Like in the Book of Revelation. Like the one in the final battle of Armageddon. In my dreams, it's always hungry. And the dragon, it doesn't eat like we do. The more it eats, the hungrier it gets, and then it'll eat the whole world. Fight the fear, Tully. Things aren't so bad. Yes, they are, but it's okay, because when I die, when I die, I get to sit with the lamb in the garden. Paps used to say that, then the fucker died. Nova's been having dreams, too. I spoke to her last night. I know, it shows on her face, and you too. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Maybe she's not that icy after all, but it's a real shame. You two would have been real happy. What I don't understand is why Al sided with Alistair. He's all chummy with Bob, so I guess that's why he's going easy on Alistair. But he's a good man, the Wiz. She has an article about the thing out there, but she won't give it to me. Just get it yourself. I'd have to break into her room. Do you fear more than the dragon thing haunting us? Do you have a master key? I have some blank keys, old and shitty warded locks here. Maybe you can make your own master copy.
I'm so sorry. They were gangrenous and beyond saving. You took them, Rune. The Lord of the Winter took your hands. you want to. Hell, we could just take the skis right now and go. I already said no. What's going on here? You're awake. How do you feel? Beaten up. What happened? You crashed the six by six and almost froze to death. But you're safe now. While Nova was saving your ass last night, Crean went berserk and started to break things. I had to shoot him up with morphine to get him to calm down. But I didn't tie him up. Now he's missing, along with Shaoman. Somehow, this is all you're doing. If you had listened to me yesterday, none of this would have happened. As far as I'm concerned, you're responsible. That's it. I need to kick your face in now! You spoiled brat! If Rune hadn't been there, Tully would have shot you. People are dying here, and you just keep doing the same macho bullshit! Me and Rune are going to try to find a way out of this. You can take the skis and go wherever you want to. Come on, Rune. Let's leave him be. Nova, wait! Stop. Please. You've got me all wrong. I want to help you. A hell of a way to do it. I just... I haven't had any night terrors. I don't see this the way you do. You're lucky. I'm so sorry I turned my back on you earlier. When that creature came to me during the night, I thought I was going to die. Or worse. Ashton is something I heard about in ghost stories when I was a kid. Saying it aloud in the morning, I just wanted to push that out of my mind. Can you forgive me? You don't need to ask that. You saved my life last night. But I didn't stand by you earlier. What we do next matters the most. We need to go through all of what we know about that thing. Wendigo or Whitico or whatever they call it. There's nothing human in it. I know. I saw it last night in the crevasse. Why is it here? I started to have these dreams the night after Al returned from the crevasse. So did I. What about the storm? It was also the first night the Ion Storm came. I think it's like a veil or portal. The spirit seems to be trapped behind it, and is somehow using it to invade our dreams. Maybe it's trying to get us to do something for it, because it can't interact physically here. You're right. It's trying to get a hold on us. I think its call affected the polar bears first. They gathered near the crevasse the night Al came back. Whatever it's trying to do, sooner or later it will consume us. If it really came from the crevasse, what exactly did you see down there? There were traces of ancient rituals. They involved cannibalism and violence. A 
according to the myth, the Wendigo is drawn to them. Then it came and wiped out the whole tribe. You must be right. What do you think Al did down there to unleash it? Is it reversible? I could try to return the bones and the hide back to where they came from. Without the car? What if it comes when you're out there? You're right. It's not a good idea. I think the spirit is bound to the bones somehow. I'll destroy them. And the hide as well. Can you do it right away? The only way is to disintegrate them. I'll go and get everything I need for that. We'll find out soon if it works. That's not going to work, Knutson. Bones won't burn at that temperature. You need a much hotter flame. You could start a thermite fire with aluminum and oxidized metal, but you need magnesium to ignite that. Thanks. You okay? No, but I'll manage. I got rid of the bones permanently. We'll find out soon enough if that helps. How are you feeling? Tired. I just hope Alan Tully are okay. 
Do you know who did this? No, but I'm guessing Tully. I'll be around if you need me. I talked to him yesterday. It almost seemed like he had given up. Kree never really adapted to life here. You were here the entire night. Didn't you hear a gunshot? I didn't hear anything. Nova drove the snowmobile right past his body last night. Why didn't she notice him? Keep away from her. She suffered enough. Don't pretend that you're the one protecting her. Regardless of what she may say, you're both still my responsibility. If it comes down to it, I'll use force to stop that thing. I want to talk to you about something. What? I burned the bones. Good. What now? We'll wait and see. Let's just take it easy, okay? Let's do that. I find it very odd that you didn't hear a gunshot. You're free to think whatever you please. I didn't have anything to do with it. Did you have any nightmares last night? No. I don't remember having any dreams at all. I'm not sensitive to any of that. Knudsen, before you go, what do you think that thing is? I don't know. Does it want to kill us or what? Maybe. Or we could just be in its way. If you have any suggestions, feel free to contribute. I will, Knudsen. I unleashed it, and I am to blame. Maybe I'll draw it out with me. Don't try to follow, Al. you okay? No, but I'll manage. Is there anything I can do? Not really. How did he die? He shot himself. Did you see anything when you came back last night? No. Wasn't there anybody awake inside? No, there wasn't. I'll be around if you need me. Are you okay? No, but I'll manage. How are you feeling? Tired. I found a note that Al left. Apparently, he wandered out to the glacier last night. Al saw that thing too, didn't he? Yeah. He kept everything inside. It's so like him. Can we follow him? Nova, Al's dead, and it's gonna be dark soon. If we wander out there in the darkness... You're right. I'll be around if you need me.
Wait. When you said you'd be around if I needed to talk, could you come sit in my room for a while? Do you feel any better? The others here know I grew up in poverty. I really had no one to lean on. I've always had to be strong. But now, for the first time in my life, I feel I can't. I'm exhausted, Rune. What if it returns and I'm too tired to fight it? It'll probably get the rest of us before you. I thought I was gonna die down there in that cave. I think you are anything but weak. You're the strongest of us. It's me you should be worried about. I've seen very bad things in my dreams, Nova. I did something to you. Don't believe that. That's what the creature wants you to think. So you're not afraid of what I might do? No. You should stay with me tonight. So I can keep an eye on you. What about Alistair? There's nothing between us anymore. We briefly dated last year, but I ended it. Turns out his past traumas surpass even mine. It's not easy to compete against your own father from an early age. But not you, Rune. You are an incredibly honest person. I'm scared shitless, Nova. Yes, and still you have the integrity to face the truth. Stay with me. If you want me to. You know, if this is over tomorrow... Yes, when this is over. I think I can hear it now. Nova? It's freezing in here. It didn't go away. It's here! The power's off. Everything will be fine, Nova. I'll be back soon. Alistair! The generator's running again. Stop shooting! It's me! You did something to her! What did you do? Do what? Do what? I found what was left of her in the corridor. The blood. Nova? What happened to her? I hate them. The nightmares! I hate them! Tell me what's happened to Nova! No, I won't listen to your lies anymore. It all ends here. You'll freeze to death, devil. Did I really do something to her? No, that's just something that creature wants me to think. Anyway, it doesn't matter anymore. The temperature is very low. I either let Alistair shoot me, or I freeze to death.
Al? Stop! Al! Alistair! Nova is here! Alistair! Al is behind this! Try to fucking come in and I'll kill you!
Cal. I know what you're trying to do. I figured you'd understand sooner or later. That's why I had to come down here yesterday. In my dream, I saw behind the veil of the sky. I saw the truth. All I see here is murder and wickedness. The Wendigo has put you under its spell. It stems from the wickedness of the modern world. We rape the Arctic and offer nothing in return, like the Tunajik did. That's why he spoke to me. He chose me. Me, an oil company prospector. What a sense of irony. That idol is a collection of cannibalized and murdered bodies. How can you say it will save the Arctic? He'll take form through them. After the last rite, he'll cross the veil of the sky and walk on the earth once again. All that's missing is a heart. No! I'm taking Nova with me right now. Think of what you're doing. This is your chance to save the polar bears. You're talking about murdering people, you sick fuck! Get back! Very well. You'll have my heart. You want to follow that thing to hell? I'm just a vessel. Are you ready? In a minute. I just need to say goodbye to this place. You know, Thule's hundreds of miles away. Yeah, a lot can happen on the way there. <laughs>